pretty nice out today. How's it going everyone? Cat, Flop Flipped AT here. This will be my first video. A uh, few reasons for this video. We're going to be uh, explain the plan. What I uh, have in my head for uh, what I'm about to do. Uh, some of the reasons and my background. Uh, why I'm going to be out there hiking. And uh, we'll go over some of this gear I got laying around here. First thing I want to do is thank Frozen from Outdoor Adventures. I've been watching him for long time got to meet him on the trail this year when I met him on the trail this year I didn't have a plan for a, a hike like this um, I wish I did at that point so it would have been nice to uh, pick his brain a bit but he has put out tons of videos about hammock camping and uh, his hike on the AT that whole documentary was awesome uh, and specifically he has a lot of information on uh, gear preparation and his post hike videos about vlogging and stuff got me thinking why don't I give this a shot so so the reason for this video is to film on my phone edit on my phone upload to YouTube see how all that goes if I can do it at home there's a good chance I can do it on the trail so my plan is a flop flip that's what I'm calling it uh, my original plan was a straight through hike north going north from Springer next March 2020 uh, things change, and I kind of have the time and availability to hike now, the funds, um, and at least bust out half of the trail. I think I can do it. I think I can get from Harpers Ferry down to Springer before winter closes me off. I also have a wedding obligation a week before Thanksgiving. I think I can finish. If I don't, I might go back and finish. Um, and then next spring, 2020, I want to finish the northern half from Harpers Ferry going north to Katahdin. So that's the plan. Uh, it's a little different than what I had originally envisioned for hiking the AT, uh, but it's part of the adventure, I guess. Uh, I'm up for it. I should have some decent weather. I should be in the Sobo flip-flop bubble somewhere uh, in there, and it should work out pretty good. Uh, I'm hoping to not get closed out by time restraints in winter and get down to Springer so that next spring I can finish the rest. So. Why am I doing this? Neighbors. Why am I doing this? Uh, really, I'm lucky enough to have a really supportive wife. And uh, it's kind of getting to that point where we want to have kids. And this is something I've wanted. It's been in the back of my head through hike. So when uh, we started talking about it, I kind of decided that I want to do this now. Uh, it's not that I, I was lucky enough this year to meet about a hundred hikers doing some trail magic uh, and what I notice is it's young people and old people really uh, there's nobody really middle-aged not a lot of middle-aged through hikers um, so that puts me a little bit you know it, it made me realize that I, I should do this now before I have to wait and you know things happen in life and maybe I don't get to do it so frozen uh, is a big uh, advocator of if you want to do something go out and do it and he said that probably a thousand times in his videos and I think it stuck finally I was like you know what I'm gonna go do this I have the gear I've been backpacking about four or five years always with a hammock so that's what I'm gonna be sleeping in we'll go over some of the gear I have but it's been a pretty quick process from the point that I decided hey it was a few weeks ago I think that we were like me and my wife were like hey why don't I just do this now so it's only been a few weeks, but I was like, you know what, I think I can get from Harper's Ferry down. And we started looking at some logistics of it, and we're going to send it. So we'll get into to some of the gear as I sip my coffee on this beautiful day. I got kind of some of it laying out and about. This is pretty much everything I'm going to be bringing with me. We'll just start at the top of what I got laying here. Thermarest z seat goes on every single hike I ever go on because it's comfortable, it's light. I can use it as a tray. I can sit on it, keeps my butt warm, my feet warm in the hammock. Definitely bringing that. This isn't how everything's gonna get packed, but 
uh, kind of all just laying in here. I made this yesterday, Tyvek steak bag. We have groundhogs. I'm gonna be replacing the zingit on these, but I leave my line on my steaks. It's just what I do. I'm sure you guys will see plenty of this if I continue to vlog this. Uh, homemade glasses case with an oak leaf thing in it. Haven't decided if I'm actually gonna be bringing uh, the deuce of spades. I think I am. Pack cover, bear hang line. That's from Z Packs. We have the Night Core, which I've been loving. Absolutely loving this. And that's it for that pouch. We're going with the old squeeze on the old smart bottles. I'm gonna be carrying two of those and probably a smaller life water on the front the pouch of my own here. Uh, here we have a net bag that I use for like putting my bottles in if I want to carry them and it holds a, a water scoop and an extra cap. The water scoop's good for filling bottles from tiny puddles of water and stuff. On the outside of the pack, obviously we got the Purell. What else we got laying on the outside? In the side pocket, that's where this is gonna live, is my War Bonnet Superfly. It's in a hammock gear mesh sleeve tarp. It's got a Dutchware gear continuous ridge line with uh, the little titanium doodads on it. Works pretty good. I already know how to tie all the knots, but the titanium doodads do help. The wasp and the hook. They do make setup and take down a little bit easier. They break, I know how to tie knots. Not really a big deal. Let's see what we got going on inside at the moment. Uh, so this is my dream hammock double-ended stuff sack. Now, in here is not my dream hammock Darien. Um, big decision I made yesterday was to bring my Hennessy Hammock Hyperlite instead of my Dream Hammock Darien. Now, this Hennessy is a couple ounces heavier, I think, but I just sleep better in it. I don't know why. I don't know if it's the stretch or I went with a little bit wider hammock uh, with the Darien and I just don't know. I've tried a few different things with the Darien, but I seem to get a little bit of left side shoulder squeeze. And sometimes I wake up with some shoulder pain and I can't figure it out. I've had good nights in it, but I can't figure it out consistently what it is that I have to do. I hung it looser, I hung it tighter, I hung it higher. I tried all sorts of things. Um, so in the end, I've decided I'm going to bring the Hyperlite. I can always have my wife send me the Darien if I want it. But I just sleep really consistently well in this hammock. It was my first like camping hammock. It's in good shape. I got Dutch continuous loops on it, and I tie that up to trees with Dutchware gear spiderweb 2.0 straps with mule tape with the Dutch hooks. It's light. I use a Beckett hitch to tie to the continuous loops. We have a small piece of Tyvek. May or may not send this home, but could be a ground sheet. This is my cook set. It's probably going to live on the outside. I'm going to break this out in a second when we talk about the food. We have a light AF Dyneema stuff sack. And that's my clothes. I've got one extra pair of shorts, one extra lightweight shirt. Got an REI beanie. I have a Z packs order come, but I don't know if it's gonna come in time. So for now, I have my, you know, my stuff I've been using as clothing, and it should work pretty well for the first month at least. We'll see. Uh, REI little beanie. Got some base layers. We got socks. There's wool socks for sleeping if my feet are cold, right? I have an extra pair of hiking socks right here. I'm gonna be wearing the right sock dual layer. I've had good luck with them. Not gonna change that base layers. They're just basic like, I don't know what these are, but they work pretty well for me. I've used them. So we're going to stick with what works. I've used it. I haven't had any issues. We've got some basic gloves and that other sock. So that's like all my extra like clothes that go in this set. Also have that will live in the top of the pack, a REI down puffy. Also have Frog Togs rain gear, top and bottom. Still not sure if I'm going to bring the bottom. I might 
it's a pretty good wind pant. It's like a good layer in the morning if it's cold and I don't want to, you know, put on my base layer. I bought some new clothes to hike in. I'm, uh, I'm going to try them out probably today, but these are Patagonia something. I don't think they're Striders. I forgot what they call them. Uh, Patagonia shorts with the liner. Columbia quick dry doodad. Uh, I got a buff and I'm probably going to bring a bandana as well as like a rag just to have, but I got the buff. One other thing I got are these croquis for my glasses. I don't want to lose my glasses, so I might rock these just for safety's sake. Not sure though. Alright, so let's dive into what I got in my cook kit right here. It's going to be this little red bag. We got a carabiner I use for hanging my food sack, which is right there, which uh, we'll talk about in a sec here. So what I'm going to do here is try a little editing practice too. So I'm going to take out the stuff from the cook set and take pictures. So first thing out is a mug. Super light plastic. It's got graduated lines on it on the inside of the plastic mug. That'll be for drinking coffee and tea. I like to have something separate. This is going to be my alcohol stove fuel bottle. This is going to be a titanium spoon. What else is in here? Windscreen titanium foil. Up. I should probably get a different one as I drop everything out of it. We've got the MSR, I think it's a 600 titanium in the homemade koozie and the Zelf cat food can stove and a little tiny plastic measuring cup for measuring fuel. That's my whole cook set right there. So about the stove, I'm going to be starting with the alcohol stove. I've made stoves like this before. I've been using this Zelf now for a bit. It's really efficient. works for me. My favorite part is how quiet they are. Now that being said, there may be a point where I switch to the Pocket Rocket that I have. Pocket Rocket 2, the MSR uh, canister stove. We're just going to start with this and see how it goes because I'm used to it. I don't mind waiting a couple extra minutes for it to, to boil and the fuel availability should be pretty easy and I'm used to it so we're just gonna go with it and if it doesn't work out I'll have my wife send me the pocket rocket too no big deal all right so now we're gonna talk about food um, I figured out for my first stretch I probably need about five days of food to get to my next resupply I'm planning on getting from Harper's Ferry to Front Royal in about five days it might take less I'm planning on a slow first week, 10 to 12s, 9 to 12s a day, and uh, just building myself up, getting used to the trail life. So five days worth of food, uh, all that right now. It's right here in the Z-Pax food bag. Weighs about nine pounds. Oh, I can smell the jerky, that's not good. We're gonna seal that up better before I go. Really smell the pork jerky through the bag. Uh, I'm gonna be hanging my food at first, especially if it's things like that, but we'll see. I know a lot of through hikers that sleep with their food. Uh, we all should be practicing, you know, leave no trace. But I know, I know for a fact, tons of through hikers use their food as their pillow. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna start hanging the food and just play, play it by ear. Uh, I have a couple pictures I'll insert here of the food. That's, uh, five days it's four four breakfasts and four lunch so it's really about four and a half days and uh, that should get me to my next resupply and if not I'll figure it out that's part of the fun right so that's just the uh, the stuff that came out of the bag now in this box is my quilts for the hammock I forgot about those because they're in this box Starting with a 40 degree Aegis Max bag, it's worked pretty good for me. I might get a lot silk bag liner, add like 10 degrees and some comfort. We'll see how it goes. If I need to get something different, I will. I have a 10 degree Econ 
hammock gear, uh, econ, top quilt that if I, you know, when I need it, I'll have that sent out. So this is, you know, my warm weather bag and I have a cold weather bag. Should work good. We have a Jaxxer Better Greylock 3, 3 quarter length under quilt. Um, with some layers on, I've had this in the 10 degree down to about 17 degrees and I was toasty. So I'm pretty confident in this and its ability to get me through the hike. If not, I'll have to be, you know, maybe considering getting a quilt sent out. We'll play, play it by ear. And also that I'll have sent out to me when I need it is a 2QZQ under quilt protector. It's just like a sheet that hangs under your under quilt. Really does cut the draft down and keeps any condensation, moisture, rain stuff from the outside. Like if you're in fog, your quilt won't be as wet. Sometimes it has a tendency to trap a little bit of condensation though. So that's the quilt setup, the hammock setup, the food setup. It's uh, about it for gear. Oh, electronics, almost forgot. I do have electronics now. There's a few more small items. So in, in this bag, this is all my electronics. We have an Anchor 13,000 uh, milliamp USB charger, the Aki wall charger, and the Anchor Bluetooth headphones, all uh, from Frozen's video. You guys see a theme here? I'm a bit of a fan. Um, we have a bag liner. I think these are from Gossamer Gear. I have a few of those extra to be sent out as I need them. And then in this bag, I got for my own, this is a ULA ohm, I don't know if I mentioned that. We have the little trail attachment thing. These on This will unclip and it will be my trail wallet. I have a basic med kit in here, basic repair kit, a uh, few waterproof matches, toothbrush, uh, extra O-ring for the squeeze, you know, just some, some small stuff. My trail wallet will go in there. Uh, and I can carry that into town just like that. So I think that's it. <clears throat> I think that's all my gear. Uh, we're going to be rocking black diamond carbon trekking poles. The phone I'm filming on is a Galaxy S10 Plus. Uh, should work out pretty good. It's got decent stabilization, pretty good camera, pretty easy to work with. I'm very used to Android. Uh, so we're going to go with that. It's kind of waterproof, I think. I don't even know. Whatever. But anyway, guys, we are T-minus two and a half days. It's Tuesday, Friday night. Me and the wife, we're driving down to Harper's Ferry. We're going to stay the night. going to wake up, eat a big old breakfast, probably pack out a sandwich for lunch, and uh, start walking. That's the plan. I'm super excited to experience a uh, through hike. Now, it's not really like a through hike, right? Because I'm... Um, doing like half the trail, waiting a bit, and then doing the other half of the trail. I should have it all done within 12 months. Makes me an official 2,000 miler or whatever. Not really worried about it. I just want to see this whole trail. Um, I want to walk the whole thing. That's the goal. So we're going to start with the southern half and then bust out the northern half. My first week is going to be the roller coaster. So we'll see how that goes. That'll give me a good taste of the, the southern mountains mountainous ter terrain i've never really hiked down there at all i've been on the at many many times in new york new jersey pennsylvania connecticut so i kind of know what i'm in for up here in the whites things like that but i don't really know what i'm in for down there i'm hoping uh it's a little easier than it is up here but all part of the fun we'll see how it goes thanks for watching guys stay tuned for more updates for uh, the video when we head down. Uh, maybe I'll do another update video from now, uh, between now and then. But if not, next video will be us heading down there and, and really uh, kicking this trip off. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys out there.